18-year-old daughter who stopped in bus lane to help homeless man has fined scrapped after public outcry. The carpenter and part-time charity worker had generously given hats, gloves, scarves and food to the rough sleeper after spotting him outside Leicester Railway Station. Ex-squaddy Mr. Williamson decided to pull over in an empty bus lane as there were not any buses running that day and no cars around in the deserted city centre. But he was slapped with the fine by Leicester City Council and was gobsmacked when the authority refused to cancel it despite explaining his reasons for stopping. Even after Mr. Williamson's story hit the headlines the mayor stood his ground and said the enforcement cameras were there as an important safety measure. But on Wednesday the mayor was forced to backtrack on his original decision and revealed he would be making sure the fine was cancelled. Speaking to the BBC, Mr. Soulsby said, Common sense should prevail in certain situations and this is one of those situations. To punish him for doing a good deed on Christmas Day is crazy, rules can be taken to an extreme. We should do everything we can to make sure Lee isn't punished and the fine is cancelled. It's a good Samaritan doing a good deed and fining him is just an absolute and utter nonsense. A businessman living in France also contacted Mr. Williamson to say he would pay the fine for him after being disgusted with his treatment by the council. David Poole, 42, originally from Nottingham but now works in internet marketing for a company in Cognac, decided to track Mr. Williamson down and send him the cash. Mr. Williamson, of Evington, Leicester said he had been overwhelmed by the support after his case received global attention. He added, It's been crazy really. I've had people from all over the world offering support and help. I'm just glad common sense had prevailed eventually. But it's been quite a battle and I don't think it would have happened if I hadn't gone public. It just goes to show sometimes it pays off to stand up to the big boys and I'm relieved I don't have to pay it now. I had a local radio station call me up and asked me to do an interview and speak with the mayor so I was able to directly to tell him my story. He said he would overturn the £70 fine because common sense should prevail in certain situations. I am glad it's all sorted now as it's been hanging over me for a couple of months. I'm happy that I wasn't the only one who thought it was completely ridiculous. Speaking on Tuesday, Mr. Williamson, who works with the charity once, we were soldiers, said he had felt like he was being punished for doing something good. He added, I'm pretty disgusted, there should be digression, I could understand if the road was busy but there was no one around. They told me it was not safe to park there. How can it be unsafe if there are literally no other road users around? The fine is 70 pounds, that money could put someone who is homeless in a home for a week with food. 